There was a time when pickups were working class vehicles for hauling and towing. Uh, there was a time when only the working class ate lobster. Times change. The all new 2019 GMC Sierra 1500 is proof. Larger in every dimension, it's up to 360 pounds lighter, due in part to aluminum doors, hood, and tailgate. The living is larger too. This is the top shelf Denali model with open pour wood trim. Not exactly for the working class. Luxury pickup trucks are definitely a thing these days. They're very profitable for automakers. The Denali starts at $59,500. As tested, this one is 67.7, making it the Cadillac of pickups, mainly because Cadillac doesn't have a pickup anymore. Ford F-150 and Ram 1500 top out at limited models. Even Chevrolet's Silverado has an upscale model, the High Country. Obviously, the Chevy and GMC are closely related mechanically, but there's more of a style difference now. Silverado has round fenders and a body with flowing lines. Sierra is all squared off machismo. There's a lot of chrome on the Denali. Wonder if it can be seen from the International Space Station. Sierra can be had with something that no other pickup gets, the multi-pro tailgate. A little bit of special tailgate demonstration music, please. Thank you very much, that will do. Now, in addition to a regular tailgate with a load stop, part of it can break away, so it's much easier to reach into the bed to get things. And if that's not enough, this becomes a step, good for 375 pounds. Also, there's a bit of a railing, if you're a klutz like me. But wait, there's more. If you fold this up and then drop this part down and then add some crossbars that go in the bed, this becomes a bit of a second tier. So you can put your drywall on top and your mud and tools down below. The other nice thing about this is if you're on the job site working on your computer, it's kind of a nice little desk. Of course, with all that complexity, the phrase, uh, what could possibly go wrong, comes to mind. GMC claims that it came up with special durability tests, so this will last the lifetime of the truck, same as a regular tailgate. There's a lot of LED lighting and power in the back, too. GMC claims this short 5-foot 8-inch box has best-in-class cargo volume because the maximum width of the bed floor was widened by almost 7 inches. The longer box is 6.5 feet. There are two cab sizes. This is the larger crew cab. Powertrains. There are six different engine transmission combinations, including a diesel and a turbocharged four-cylinder. One could move mountains with this 6.2-liter V8, the largest GMC offers. There's 420 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque on tap. This head-up display is huge and offers great information. The 6.2 V8 shifts gears with a 10-speed transmission. Uh, pay attention when ordering. There are 6 and 8-speed boxes too, depending on engine. Manual shifting is done here. These are controls for the sound system. Equipped with four-wheel drive, the mode that you want, including an automatic all-wheel drive kind of setting, is just a push button away. And this being the Denali, there's adaptive ride control suspension. All right, let's drive. Turbocharged V6s may have the power and the torque of a V8, but they don't have the sound. Denali's engine note is very rich, but this is a luxury truck and it's pretty quiet, so it's kind of distant and removed. It moves with authority. While it's shaped like a brick, there's precious little wind noise to hear. Sierra is a big truck and feels every bit of its size. The adaptive suspension that can't be had on Silverado High Country keeps roll and dive to a minimum. This rig is pretty easy to drive. Steering weight is good, handling is crisp, but if memory serves me right, it's not quite as quiet or comfortable as the new Ram 1500. Still, Sierra is buttoned down on the road. The driving dynamics of modern pickup trucks are impressive. I strongly suggest test drives to see if you can tell the difference between all the manufacturers if comfort is your priority. The 10-speed transmission is calibrated perfectly. Remember, this is a joint venture between Ford and General Motors. 
So if you're thinking about putting one of those window stickers in the back with Calvin doing his thing on the blue oval, uh, you might want to think twice about that. Order the $5,800 Denali Ultimate Package to add automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection, forward collision alert, and lane keep assist with departure warning. Adaptive cruise control is not available. Sierra has blind spot warning. There are pickup trucks that have those systems that also compensate for the trailer that you might be towing. Unfortunately, this is not one of them. The EPA rates its average fuel economy at 17 miles per gallon. That's one or two less than the competitors. And the 6.2 liter prefers premium gas. Really, if you're thinking about good fuel economy and you're thinking about buying a pickup truck, you're thinking about buying the wrong kind of vehicle. Both this 6.2 and the 5.3 liter V8 have 17 cylinder activation combinations and can operate on as few as one cylinder, depending on demand. It's completely seamless. I never felt anything detectable from the engine bay. This truck has an automatic engine start stop system, something that General Motors is very good at doing. It's so smooth, you may not even notice it. In the past, General Motors did not provide a button to turn it off easily. That is a thing of the past. Thank you, General Motors. For those who intend to put this Luxo truck to work, as configured, it can handle a payload of 1,610 pounds. I guess those 10 pounds are important. And it's rated to tow 9,300 pounds. While Sierra's exterior looks different from Silverado, the interior will feel very familiar to Chevy owners. The gauge cluster is unique, and the GMC gets this great rear-view mirror that's also a video monitor with an especially wide view. For a luxury truck, there's a lot of hard plastic in here. GM needs to talk to the door release supplier about the sharp edge where the pieces come together. Another piece of lumber on the glove box door would spruce up the space. The passenger faces a lot of black plastic. Lining in the door pockets would keep your Leatherman from rattling around. This being the top tier Denali, I'm a little surprised there's not a powered tilt telescope wheel or adjustable pedals of any kind, which means my very petite wife can't drive this pickup. She doesn't want to drive a pickup, but she can't. Well, not this one anyway. If you run into anything using the surround view system, it's your own fault. This truck is smothered in cameras that cover every angle, including a guide to hook up a trailer solo. The image is kind of soft, and Sierra doesn't have Ford's trick trailer assist tech. Now, that's kind of a tongue twister. The tailgate can be dropped remotely. There's wireless phone charging. Like all pickups, storage is generous. The center console will hold some of my camera gear, a laptop computer, and hanging files, this being the boss's truck and all. Any kind of power outlet one might need is covered. Everything from the transfer case to trailer braking and the knobs and buttons are well laid out. The user interface is easy to decipher and has excellent response. GM has been big on Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, so this is no surprise. The screen is on the small side, though, for a luxury truck. This is the crew cab, and it's very spacious. I'm five foot nine, and passengers at least half a foot taller than me will have enough head and legroom. If you're looking for bragging rights, though, Ram 1500's largest cab is a little bit more roomy than this. But really, 43.4 inches to stretch your car hearts out into should be plenty. It's nearly limo-like. Electronics can be charged. There's a high-speed internet hotspot. Thermoses will fit here. Bottoms can be warmed. The seats, which will handle three adults easily, swing away for those wanting to haul large, expensive things in a lockable space. The floor is nice and flat. Here's a neat trick. It would be easy to store one of those portable powered tire pumps in this space. The 2019 Sierra Denali 1500 is not the only luxury pickup choice, but it has its own unique features. I've always found GM's bumper step to be very handy and the powered running boards have two Yes, two positions. But for an all new model, Denali is missing some helpful technology and luxury appointments like a panoramic roof that the competition offers. The tailgate is pretty slick. That might be a reason to choose Denali. But if luxury is what you want in a pickup, there are others that have loftier features. 
There is a part of me that feels odd about criticizing a pickup truck because it doesn't have a panoramic glass roof or adaptive cruise control, but this is the world we live in, folks. A fully loaded Ram 1500 Limited with eTorque V8 is about the same price and has all of that plus a huge touchscreen, a visibly more opulent interior, and more tech. I understand that pickup owners are a brand loyal bunch and Denali owners love their machines, but if you're spending north of 60 grand, you owe it to yourself to shop everything just to make sure you know the score. Finally, if you think the Multipro tailgate is just a gimmick, I'll argue that it's not. I'm winding up my kitchen remodel and there was one last dump run. My friend and contractor, Kevin, yes, he's still my friend, thought it was very cool and he's a Ford guy. The step, help loading, and the breakout section with the load stop made all the difference when it came to hauling a couple tall doors. We filled the entire truck and I do mean the whole thing. At the dump, it was much easier to unload because of the tailgate cutout, so count me in as a believer. And just so you know, Seattle has some of the nicest dumps in the country, complete with artwork. This place is nicer than some restaurants I've eaten in. That's my look at the all-new 2019 GMC Sierra. No doubt a number of you are wondering, Tom, where's the TP trunk test? Do you see a trunk? This is a pickup truck. Pickups are designed to haul sheetrock, plywood, two by fours, not toilet paper. Besides, I'm inherently lazy. Do you know how long it would take to bring that much TP out from Costco to fill this thing up? If you're really curious, I challenge somebody out there to measure the bed, measure the toilet paper, and write in to see, you know, about there, how much TP fits in, okay? I challenge you, and if anybody does that, uh, I'll be impressed or scared. Not sure which one. That's Driven. I'm Tom Volk. Remember, this is a joint venture between Ford and General Motors, so if you're thinking about putting one of those window stickers on the back with... And there's no audio. <laughs> My microphone fell off <clears throat> and it landed right in there, hole in one. Excellent.